Welcome back. We are now on uh, Dev Camp number three, uh, which is actually a game cap. And, and we're actually going at it from a completely different direction now, right? Typically, we, you would think, oh, okay, we talk about apps, and we talk about apps all the time. Um, so we're going to do a little bit different today. We're going to talk about actually making games and how you can use your games to get into the developer movement. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, you're joining us for the first time. My name is Jonathan Rosenblatt. I'm going to be your online host uh, for this particular event, both in front of the camera with you. I'll be back at the end of the day for some live Q&A with our speakers. And of course, we'll be entertaining you um, in the chat. Now, of course, this is live, right? So as you can see, some of the, the comments there in the chat, um, we may have had a little bit of a uh, couple of difficulties there um, the last time we did the camp, but I hope we got them all resolved and we should be good to go. Um, so let's get to it. And actually, actually, before we do that, I have to, I have to show you this. Okay. So I don't know if you guys know, but um, at some point last year, the team here said, hey, you know what? HTML5 is really cool, um, and, and we should Canadianize it. Right? It's like, OK, well, how do you go about doing that? And I figured today, since we're going to be talking about a lot about HTML5, I figured, you know what? I'm going to get into the spirit of things. So let me show you um, the Canadian version of the HTML5 logo. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to look at my monitor there. Ah, can you see it? There you go. Branded for the particular event today. Anyway, back to business. By the way, if any of you want those, uh, those t-shirts, um, I don't know if actually we can get them to you, but we can certainly try. Um, so let me know. Developer movement at Microsoft.com. No guarantees, but we can certainly try. OK, quick little bit of uh, admin for you. We have a whole bunch of sessions for you today. What I did want to make sure that you knew about, for those of you just joining us, you haven't been through a camp uh, uh, with us yet. Um, for those of you that have, forgive me. I know I'm going to repeat it a little bit, but I got to do it, right? So a little bit about the developer movement, really. It's just a way for you to build apps, get points, get rewards. Simple as that. Um, and what you're doing is you're building Windows Store applications or games um, or a Windows Phone application or games, ideally with the Windows Azure backend. Um, and you're submitting those to the developer movement. You get rewards in the form of points. And then you can actually take those points and then redeem them towards really cool things. Um, and, and you can see there on, on the screen, there's a, whole bunch of, um, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can get the points. Um, you know, shaker bottles and t-shirts and this and that. But as you build up all of the points, you can actually get some really cool things like you know, digital microscopes, Xbox 360 wireless controllers, home theater systems, laptops, TVs, so on and so forth. Um, I'll let you be in terms of check it out on developermovement.ca. All of the information is on there. Um, and really, the more apps you create or labs that you do for Windows Azure or refer friends, so on and so forth, the more points you get. Now, to help you do that, we're here with all of these live web camps for you, design camps, app design camps, game camps, .NET camps, so on and so forth. Um, but there's actually also some really cool people, local experts across the entire country, who want to help you. And the way that they do that, they've joined the developer movement as developer mentors. And basically, they're just here to help. So bounce ideas off of. They can review your app, give you recommendations. The only thing that they really can't do is write the code for you because, hey, ultimately, you're the one that needs to learn how to do it, right? Um, but they can certainly help expedite the process in order to get your apps into the developer movement as soon as possible. Um, so if you're looking for a develop, uh, developer mentor, easily uh, set you up for one. Just send me an email, developermovement at microsoft.com. Let me know where in Canada you're located um, and whether you prefer to meet in person, um, online, either or, as in you don't care. Um, and I'll make sure to, uh, to put you up with the right person. Oh, and by the way, also let me know what kind of app or game you're looking to do. Not what the idea is, but what kind of technologies you're looking to do. And then that way I can make sure that your mentor is uh, well versed in that. Last but not least, I just wanted to make sure that you did know about other upcoming uh, camps that we still have left to go. A whole bunch of them happening um, today. Well, today there's the, the game camp, then there's the web camp, .NET camp, phone camp. And the first two camps are um, 
Uh, we're working hard here in the studio just to make sure that that is available for you. Um, and we're starting to the first developer movement dev camp, which was on the uh, on the Thursday. That one is already available for you. AK.ms slash DM dev camp. Those aren't case sensitive. So don't worry about that. I'll have all those links for you in the chat. So don't worry about uh, don't worry about getting them from there. With that, I want to make sure to get you onto uh, the first uh, speakers and sessions so that we can get the learning going. Again, remember, chat is live. Send us your questions, send us your feedback, so on and so forth. Each presenter will come on to the chat after they're done when we're doing a little bit of a break, answer those questions for you. We'll be back at the end of the day to do a live Q&A. And the only other thing that I ask of you before we get going is, on the bottom of your screen, right underneath the player, right underneath the chat, you'll see the agenda. Each item on the agenda has an eval link. It would be super, super helpful for us and really appreciate it if at the end of each session, you could quickly just go in there. It'll take you a couple of seconds to fill it out per session. Let us know what you're thinking um, and let us know how we can make this better. Okay, so there's one per session. You'll also then at the end of the day, I'll share with you a link for the entire event. Um, and in case you missed any of those, they're going to be available for you in a follow-up email that we'll send you after today's event. Simple enough? All right. So with that, I'm going to switch you guys over to um, our friends over in uh, Seattle that are actually waiting um, to get this going for you guys. So give me two seconds, and we'll get them up and running for you. <laughs> 